So Shay, what did you put you sit in your pants like? A fucking grapefruit is real fat and succulent. It vibrates a little bit when you touch it. <laughs> <laughs> I got my shades on at work, but my husband I be in my ass, honey. I'm okay. Well, how are you? Don't talk to me. Lose the lame I wanna be like oh totally. Well, yesterday was the VMAs, and if many of you do not know, it is one of music's most legendary <laughs> Just do not be into award shows like that. Like I hate to be that person. I, I have not been excited since an award show since since. So it's probably like Beyonce win or some shit, you know, like they, cause they, they, they just don't be having the, you know, it, it's like that. There was a time where it seems like the further back the award shows is actually given, you know, I don't know, just more than awards out to just people you probably don't even know or listen to. Like it was a lot that went into it: the drama, the spectacular, the memorable moments. Wow, great award shows don't come that often, but I'm gonna help you out. Shut up, shut up, sexy. Sit down. Sit back, relax, get your snacks, and tell your boyfriend or your girlfriend that you're gonna call them back. I wanna insert a fun fact that I know though, you know, the VMA, MTV itself, thanks a black man for this award show. His name is Michael Jackson, you do your research. In his death, clap for the king. Music videos picked up a lot of speed and popularity after Michael Jackson in the 80s started releasing his short films. Racism and, you know, just America being America kept a lot of black artists from being even featured on MTV. But Michael was that crossover that everybody said, yeah, we probably need to get into this Negro stuff. Honey, the Negroes was in the house last night. <laughs> and the husband. And the Caucasian. But I did not watch the entire thing because no one is really that important to me. But I am going to be recalling the four moments that I care to remember from this year's VMAs. Okay, this one right here is going to make my number four. It's Shakira. Gone. She is so extra. One of my favorite little things. One of my favorite little Hispanic women, I swear to God. Like, she's just so cool to me. Like, Shakira, Shakira, you know? You know what I mean? I, 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 yes, I do speak multiple languages, so I, I can understand what she's saying about 7% of the time. I think for me being black, like, when I see Shakira, it's just like, you know, that other side, it, it, it's got some good shit over there. These, these. <laughs> I just think it's always gonna be iconic that Shakira was just even there. Girl, whatever they get this girl about the house girl that's in a war shop. Oh, and the wigs I laid on the dancers. Her stage presence, you know, a lot of artists just, a lot of artists just don't have stage presence anymore. I think that's one thing, you know, you, you can get out of it. At least Shakira, can't speak for everybody, but you know, you, don't, don't you miss stage presence? Don't you? Don't you miss somebody who, who, who came out and, and not just stood on the stage, but filled it up? Not necessarily just filling up with dances and all that extra stuff, because you know that, that that really doesn't make an iconic performance, but it's just fucking Shakira. The way I just know I'm watching a star that was doing shit probably before I was born. And you know what? She loves a drum. 
It just looked like she having fun up there. Oh, she got, oh, she got. I think the beautiful thing about Shakira, and I, I cause, cause we gonna move on, we gonna move on. The most beautiful thing about Shakira, for her to have the success that she had in like America, and she be so, I think she living in the East or something. I think she makes Spanish speakers in America feel really good because like, she has very, she's performing at the VMAs and she's performing songs in Spanish. Like, this is an American based audience, you know, English. A lot of Americans are not gonna know what you're saying, Shakira. But at the same time, there are millions of Spanish-speaking Americans. So I feel like Shakira does a beautiful thing of like making them feel like, girl, speak in that tongue, girl. Fuck English, girl. Simple ass shit. Arriba, camina. So lava cake spread by it some more. The body, the drama. I just feel like I, a snake's supposed to jump out of a basket. Ooh, ooh, ah, ah. Don't know what she is saying, but she is so cute. Ah, da, 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 da. Yeah. Getting a Shakira performance at the VMAs, that's like iconic for me because. Oh, baby, when you're torn like that. She, she's gonna be my girl for a while. Next we have this live performance. It's almost like the songs was made to be performed live, like if you think about it. And thinking from that lens, it's like, she knows she's gonna have to hit the stage and you know, say the stuff that she's saying. And I think the way she delivers, it's truthfully, it's tea, I like it. I don't know, I'm, I'm not no industry player, so. Yeah. See, this performance has direction. You see how she started in the crowd? If you know anything about the music industry, and trust me, I have zero music expertise, but listen to me. Your music video helps bring a song to life, but that's what performances were doing before music videos. <laughs> Uh-oh. Today folks wanna love a music video sometimes and watch that more than holding the artist to a standard of being able to convey the song in a lie. So to take her music video and put it on a stage, how much closer to Doja can you get? I, I like the direction, I see you girl. But I don't really care about this song, I'ma skip it a little bit though, but I, I like the performance so far. That little bitch, she's devil. Christian, take this song, she's devil. You know, this give me Britney Spears for some reason. Get yeah, my pocket! How my bitches look? Not in my pocket! This is a performance. Good job, Georgia. It's the bleep there. Look, 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 look. Who are you? I think I like my brain because I can think of the stuff that a lot of folks don't think about initially, y'all. Did y'all just see Doja Cat? When she said, who are you? You gotta see how she got down and scooted across that stage. The drum, I catch the drama. This girl, who are you? Don't you want to get close? Who are you? <laughs> Look at Nas. Mind you, you know Nas gonna love this song, girl. You know, he, he a demon. Yes, I'm my demons look. Look, not a demon, the devil, yeah. Got demons running in the back. <laughs> I love how I got caught on her leg. I think for certain teams, things that happen during a performance that can't be rehearsed, that do happen, only add to the performance. I think something that is so T about this performance, honestly, truthfully, is the paper getting stuck on her knees. Like, that's just, I don't know why something that little to me just, yes, Doja. You know, 
Because I know they didn't rehearse that. I know that you wasn't in rehearsal, you know, all the paper was supposed to fly in a certain trajectory. Every single individual piece in that one was going to land on her knees. Like, it's just the way the moment just all moved together and just little, 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 little stuff like that. Little stuff like that I like. Talk your shit. I would say, I would say, I would say Doja's performance is already one of those like, She's going to be, you know, time has to go by for people to say like, oh yeah, that will. But I don't really have to have too much time go by. I think I got a good eye for it. Doja's performance, hell, it's the only thing that I care to research up after the shit over. I'm telling you, for real. <laughs> Next we have, I guess this is Diddy. Oh, I really don't care if this is taken as disrespect by anybody, but... I just don't understand it for Diddy. For me, I was born, you know, you know me. Diddy was like always the guy that knew the rappers to me. Like he wasn't just rapper, rapper. Like I didn't even know Diddy had songs. I, I thought he was like a, a black DJ Khaled, you know? He just gonna be around people who make music because he like do beats and stuff. Like a businessman. If I had to say anything else, I feel like this man is a businessman because what is Diddy doing on the stage? Like, what What exactly... What is Diddy doing? <laughs> I guess... I don't know, because I, I can't name five Diddy songs. Like, I can't sit here and name five Diddy songs for my own life. Like, I just can't. Not trying to be funny, but I can't. I didn't know he had none. Like, I've been missing you. I guess I'm not privy. Dear Heavenly Father, yeah, I pray you find love in the pieces of me that's left. Feel it in your soul, it separates from your flesh. The nights that I cried alone, they taught me best. Sometimes you gotta go through the dark, man. I'm on the ground, I'm flying. Okay, I like this one. Hey, we used to rock the show. I laced the track, you locked the flow. So far from hanging on the block for dust. The state come out. She done. Oh. I think Diddy comes in handy for like people that are older than me. To see him still get recognition, it almost, it makes the people that are older than me that grew up with him, you know, feel like. Yeah, that's Diddy, that Diddy man. That Diddy right there, that, that, that Diddy. Oh yeah, that's bad man, that bad boy, that's bad boy. That Diddy right there, that Diddy. You know Diddy? Ooh, ooh! That Diddy right there, man. Boy, back in the day, man, Diddy. I feel like that's how the folks be approaching P. Diddy. Like, when you meet his, his day one supporters, and the, you don't know P. Diddy. <laughs> you know, I, I'm gonna say this, and I, I'm probably gonna get flagged, and I, I don't care, but Diddy's son to me, I used to have, I, I used to want to look on his gooch. I, I, I used to, but now, something about him just gives me he know who he is, you know, like, just the way he just, you know, come out just a jumping in a, <laughs> I'm Diddy, son. <laughs> I, just, I just, I don't know, it, it's just, I, I feel like I, 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 I don't know what, I don't know what words to put, but something about Diddy, son, it's just, you're not Diddy, you know, so like, we're over living. Did, did, did he catch hell like Ivy? Cause you know when Blue Ivy come out on stage, you know we gonna overlive because we know what the the stuff Blue was getting before she even. You know when she was you know was they attacking me? Did he sign? like was, so? Why are you coming out on the stage all confident and shit? Who the hell? You know I just feel like he'll call me Poe. I don't know. I, I just feel like you know Diddy will probably call you Poe, but I feel like his son just. Like, like a little ass, or just a fine ass little asshole that I'll kiss on. I don't know, I'm, I'm all over the place. He's, he's still chocolate, still fine. You know, a lot of folks don't know how connected music is, but this little strum that people are hearing that will probably remind them of that little strum that you hear, that sounds like Ice Spice, but listen, but listen, there. a wise, wise, beautiful black man once said by the name of Prince, one of these days, folks are going to get very big off of sampling the sample. <laughs> oh, Lord, but I love it. I love it. Sex, uh, yes, Curry! 
Yeah, oh, so red was the thing. Red was the thing. Pussy eyes. Bitch, shut up. Bitch, shut up. Get your money, bitch. 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 Carisha would sit back there and hair and makeup for 45 minutes. And that was her number. That's all I needed to do, boo. Just a quick one, two. Just a quick one. Uh oh. You know, Diddy got some com comforting music. I love the boo. Y'all know I love the black boo. Yeah, sex appeal is not Diddy's thing. It's just it's money and being black. Hey, yo, King Combs is up for me. I see you, family. Yeah. Yeah. All right, that's cute. I like that. No, I really do. I really do. It's Diddy. He got the some big award. He got a big award for this this year's VMA. So. Shout out to Diddy, shout out to all of the people that he had to hurt. This is pretty tough and dealing with, you know, you know how to... <laughs> I think Diddy will tell you himself, yes, you know, it's y'all business. Diddy will sign you as an artist, put your music out, make $50 million and give you a peppermint, girl. A peppermint and a lanyard. <laughs> lanyard gonna have his initials on it, that's okay. Last but not least, the most iconic moment of the VMAs. Every single moment I saw Nicki Minaj. <laughs> Even more sickening when you hear the lyrics and they know the history. Excuse me, honey, but nobody's in my lane. I the only woman singled out for the 50. Uh, excuse me, honey, but nobody's in my lane. She looks so good. Come on, Red Ruby. The crowd is gonna go wild. Every time a nigga come out. Only on the seas at the top. Right, the big Anyway, he's out. Who the who the I knew these bitches were slow. I ain't know these bitches see now. You gotta know the most iconic DMA moment was gonna be her. Billy on me right now, and I ain't talking about that little Wayne rapper. And then little Wayne walked up. Do y'all see this nasty ass bitch named Omika Tanya and this nasty ass walk? Do y'all see this nasty ass walk she got? This is why. This is why I said this award show was like some really. Cause though, because just that little split second walk, that is a uh, to have Lil Wayne on stage going crazy like that, and Nicki in the back casually walking. Like one day they're not gonna walk on the stage anymore, so we need to cherish them while they're here. And it's just like yes to everything. How <sighs> about wraps up this YouTube video? Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe. Let me know. Some moments that you probably thought I left out. Let me know what were some of your favorite moments from the VMAs this year. These are personally mine, my most memorable. And more so of a cozy look, cause you know, I was in bed when I was watching the VMAs, so you know, yeah. Remember to love yourself and be yourself unapologetically. And remember to carry yourself like royalty. Just like Nikki carried through that VMAs, honey, walking with a net, you need to work on your walk. 
work on your walk. That's the nasty piece of thing that you can do. Because when you work on your walk and you walk like it, these folks is going to respect you too like royalty. But until next time. Oh, you want to see the great red warrior? Please find me.